Hey, what's up? It's Logan Brown Boxing, and in this video, I'm gonna give you four drills to improve your head movement. Having great head movement isn't just about doing it properly and looking good. Great head movement is about actually making your opponent miss. Again, and again, and again, and again. Because if your opponent can't hit you, then how can he beat you? We're gonna start from beginner level and work our way up to expert level. First drill is very simple. You can do it by yourself at home. All you need is one of these bad boys. And I want you to practice two different types of slips, okay? With the single sharp slips, we're going left, right, and down, always returning back to the center. This gives you that speed, balance, and control. And the triple slip, do them fast, bend from the waist, keep your hands up, and maintain perfect balance. You wanna do this every single day to build up that speed and balance because you're gonna need it for the next three drills, especially the last one. The second drill that I'm gonna show you to improve your head movement is actually gonna help you improve your reaction speed. With this one, you want your pad man to start off slow so that you can actually see the punches coming. Once you get used to that, the pad man can start to pick up the speed. You can start to add in footwork, you can add in feints, double jabs, triple jabs, hooks. The great thing about this drill is you can practice all of that footwork, learn how to close the distance, improve your timing and reactions, and you can get used to all of that without ever getting hurt. Oh. <laughs> One thing to think about is you want your pad man to be mixing it up. This isn't a choreographed movement, we're actually emulating a fight. So you want him to be mixing it up. And once you're used to that, you can step it up to the advanced stage. So far we've practiced the movements and we've built the reaction speed. Now it's time to dodge some actual punches. <laughs> This drill is just like the noodle drill, except if you make a mistake, try not to make mistakes. And what I want you to think about with this drill is the range and how you're looking for different reactions at different ranges. For example, if I'm being aggressive and I'm stepping into my opponent's range, he's gonna try to catch me as I step in. Once I understand that range, I can anticipate those punches and I can be ready to slip every time that I step in. But if I'm on the outside like this, then he has to step in to hit me. So from this range, I have to always be ready to slip as soon as I see that front foot step forward like that. Now once you get used to understanding these ranges and how to make your opponent miss, you can start to send up counter punches. Now this is the drill where all of those other ones come together. We're gonna use all the skills from the previous drills and we're gonna use them to set up powerful counter punches. 